CataractCoach.com. Learn as I coach this resident during cataract surgery. People ask me, what's it like to be coached by you in the operating room? And let me show you. This is a resident who's doing the surgery. I'm sitting on the sidelines just watching and coaching as she does the surgery. You may have guessed by that paracentesis that this is a left-handed surgeon and she's choosing to make the main incision with the left hand as well as place the phaco probe through that left-sided incision. That's why the paracentesis is here on the right side. Either way, left hand or right hand doesn't really make a difference. So here's the viscoelastic now, disperse the viscoelastic. Did a good job in draping the lashes. Those are all out of the way. Good exposure, good anesthesia. This patient's in a good position. Now, to get that cannula in the eye, you have to go in the exact same plane that you made the para. There you go. Come across the eye now. Good. And inject a wave of viscoelastic. Perfect. And we want a physiologic pressure. That's great. If the pressure's too high in the eye, the incision will tend to be short. If the pressure's too low, then the incision will tend to have too long of a tunnel length. So that's a good pressure. Let's put some water here. Balance salt solution on that cornea. We're now ready for the main incision. This is going to be a 2.75 incision. So it's going to be keratome in the left hand for this left-handed surgeon, and then fixation ring in the right hand. And so the surgeon is now getting those instruments ready. Good job. So let's put the fixation ring down, angle it to where you want it. And here comes the main incision. So go in parallel to the iris first, good. Now get the tip of the blade up to go through the corneal stroma. Well, try that again. That's okay. So fixation ring again, parallel to the iris initially, right at the limbal vessels, good. Now, toe up, good, advance it slowly, slowly, keeping the blade totally flat. There should barely be any space between the blade and the conjunctiva. Advance it, keeping that angle constant that looks great once you have the appropriate tunnel length a little bit more now go back parallel to the iris go straight in and come right out beautiful incision great job that looks great so you can see that incision has very nice architecture let's look at it with the oct you can see in that live view of the oct that incision looks great very nice tunnel length great symmetry the roof and the floor of the incision are just about identical in both those uh, cross-sectional slices. That is fantastic. So great job with the incision. Good teaching point there. Let's go now make the capsular rexus. So for a lot of residents, they like to start off doing the capsular rexus with a cystotome, and that's perfectly fine. I don't do that, but a lot of people choose this as their preference. So that looks good. Pivot with the incision now, and tear across, and let's get this flap flipped over. Push a little bit more. Very nice. A little bit more. That's good. So that's a flap that you can now grab. Good job coming in and out of the incision. Here come the forceps. Now the key in the forceps is you definitely have to pivot within the incision. You want to keep this eye still and in primary. Pivot in the, in the incision. Don't let out too much viscoelastic. So that's a good size. You're doing great. Keep it going. Now, don't make it too small. A baby Rex is going to make the surgery difficult. Not bigger than that. It needs to be bigger, 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 bigger. That's better. Bring that out. Fantastic. And so good job in pivoting. If you look at the tips of the forceps, if they move and trace a perfect rexus, the flap will just follow. Now here's the time to flip the pivots. Tips go one way, base goes the other. Very nice. Doing a great job. Take your time. Great. And this is going to be about a 5 millimeter caps rexus, which would be ideal in this case. So pivot down, grab it, beautiful, and bring it around. Now keep pivoting, pivot, pivot, pivot. Great. Doing a great job. Now move around the eye with the instruments closed so you don't gape the incision. Re-grab that capsule now. Pivot down to grab it. Yeah, pivot down a little bit more. You don't have it just yet. Nope, it's okay. Change the angle. Now pivot down, grab it. Very nice. And now bring it around. Keep the rexus tight. Keep it the same size. Looks great. You're in the home stretch. Just finish this up. So that's a little preview of what it's like in the operating room. 
I do demand that residents come to the operating room prepared for surgery. Plenty of practice. They've read about the case. They know their patient inside and out. I want to help every resident become the best surgeon that she can.